the food industry was not happy with the new dietary guidelines. Complaints reined in from the Sugar Association and the Salt Institute. Sugar reduction is evidently impractical, unrealistic, and not grounded in the body of evidence, according to the chief science officer of the Sugar Association. The Salt Institute's vice president of science said encouraging people to eat low-salt foods would just make them eat excessively to make up for the lack of taste, and saving the lives of up to 92,000 Americans a year is evidently a reflection of ideology rather than sound science. The American Meat Institute also predictably railed against the suggestion to moderate one's consumption of meat. When the First Lady's Let's Move campaign hosted a Healthy Kids contest asking students to prepare a recipe from one of three categories, whole grains, dark green and orange vegetables, or dried beans and peas, the meat industry was outraged. After all, there wasn't a category for meat. Healthier diets, wrote one industry commentator, pose a hazard to meat producers.